Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a geometry tutorial to share with you today. We are using this book called Drawing Circle Images and it goes from 3-fold symmetry up to 12-fold symmetry. And today we're going to work on 6-fold symmetry. Now the book has two different designs that you can do and I'm going to show you both of them. We're going to watercolor them at the end of this tutorial. I'm using my Fabriano watercolor paper. This is 90 pound hot press watercolor paper. It has a nice smooth finish. This is going to work really great for this project. I've adjusted my radius and now I'm going to eyeball the center of the page and draw a circle. Next I'm going to put the compass on the outside of the circle and draw another circle and where that circle intersects the line it's going to be the center point of another circle and in this way you can draw six circles on the circumference of your original circle and very quickly you can start to see your six-fold symmetry now one of my circles wasn't precise and so I went ahead and erased it from now to do it again it's really important that you make sure that your compass stays uh, with the correct radius because any slight alteration is really going to distort your final image. It's just best to get those right from the start. Next we want to extend our radius and I needed another compass to do this and we're going to make our new radius the distance between one point and we're going to skip one arc and go all the way to the next arc and this way we're going to get a nice large circle. Now in some parts this is going to go off the page and that's fine. If you want to have a larger image you can use a larger sheet of paper or you can reduce your original radius so that it's much smaller but I found that that's going to be a little bit challenging because once you get all these lines going, it can be really confusing where your center point for each of your circles is supposed to be. You can already see some wonderful designs kind of emerging from the six-fold symmetry. And at this point, I want to erase some of those extra lines and arcs. So I'm just going to do that at this point because it's going to be a little bit easier for me to decide which parts I want to watercolor without so many different arcs. So once it's all cleaned up, then you can start to either color it in or watercolor it. For this project, I'm going to use my Distress inks as watercolors. They are ink pads that dry permanent, but while they're wet, you can use them as watercolors. So I've got an assorted color range here with this yellows and oranges and pinks and reds. And because they're ink pads, I'm just squishing them down onto a non-porous surface and then using a paintbrush with a little bit of water in order to watercolor these designs. I really like the range of colors that you get with the Distress inks they're really beautiful and rich and they have a nice muted range which is a little different from the other watercolors that I have and so I especially like them for these projects it takes a little while to watercolor this in and you do have to be really careful about making sure that you're staying within the lines that you have drawn. I do use a pencil for all of this. It might be nice to highlight these at the end with a black marker or even a white pen, but I really like the way that it looks in the end as long as I'm super careful and staying within my lines. All right, so we're going to start again, but this time we are going to draw a slightly smaller circle in the center of the page, which actually ended up not being necessary once you erase so many of the outline arcs. You could have started with an, a, a larger circle in the center of the page. We're using 9 inches by 12 inches for our watercolor paper. And again, we're going to start this design the same as we did the last one. So we're going to have that original center circle, and then we're going to have six circles that intersect the original circle. And here's where it gets slightly confusing. We're going to start making more circles on the intersecting arcs of the original six circles that are around the first circle. Now I know this is a little bit confusing, but once you get them all drawn out, it's a little bit clear where your, uh, the center of each circle is supposed to be, where your arcs are crossing. Even so, once you start to do this design, you can very quickly lose sight of where your circles are supposed to go because each of those six circles is going to get another six circles. But don't forget that some of them are going to overlap with the neighboring circles. So my son, who is 13, was advising me on where those circles needed to be. 
At this point, we want to draw our final arcs because we don't want to have so many circles on the page and have so much erasing to do. So we're just going to do those final arcs and you're going to be able to see them a little bit more clearly once I start erasing those extra arcs that are outlined on our final design. So at this point, I am about done and I want to erase those extra circles and arcs and that way you can more clearly see the design that's left. And it almost looks like a floral design. It's really beautiful. So again, I'm using my Distress inks to watercolor this in with some pale yellow in the very center and some orange and then some red on the very outside parts. Then I decided to add some really pale pink right in the center, but I didn't go all the way to the edges so there's a little bit of white left behind and I really like the way that it looks in the end. So here's a closer look at both of those designs. You can see how different they each are and yet they both are six-fold symmetry. If you want to check out some of our other geometry tutorials, you can tap on the screen right now. Don't forget to check out the blog post that accompanies this video for more information, tutorials, and links to the materials that we used. And if you want to see how our homeschool is progressing on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.